Today we're on page 5 of the Chemistry 1 Chapter 10 packet and we're going to be talking about hydrates. A hydrate is a s composed of a salt and water. You actually have a sample of this in your um, bin of chemicals and this is your CuSO4.5H2O and you can see that it is a blue solid and this solid actually has water and salt combined. Even though it looks dry, it actually has water in it. So a hydrate is composed of salt and water. A hydrate is made up of salt and water. They're both together in the hydrate. So here's an example, CuSO4.5H2O. This is the salt, CuSO4. I mean, CuSO4 is the salt, and of course H2O is the water. This dot just means attached. It doesn't mean times. So one of these salts is attached to five waters. Now, if you want to find the percent of water in a hydrate, percent is always a part over the whole. So what you would need to know is the grams of the water over the whole thing, which is the grams of the hydrate. And then times 100 would give you the percent. So let's do that. CuSO4.5H2O, if you write that out, the salt is the CuSO4, and then we're attached to five waters. So if you look at the periodic table, remember when we learned before that percents are by mass, I say percent, you say grams. So this is all grams from the periodic table. Copper is 63. Uh, 0.5. Sulfur is 32.1. There are four oxygens, so 4 times 16. And then we're going to add that with five waters, and we already know water weighs 18. So if we do the math for this, let's do the five waters first. We know that 5 times 18 is going to be 90. So that's going to be 90 grams on top, divided by, and you know what, with sig figs, I'll just go to tenths because that's what I've been doing, so 90.0. And then if we do 63.5 plus 32.1 plus 4 times 16, that's going to be the salt is 159.6, and then we add that water into it, which is 90. So the whole thing on the bottom weighs 249.6. So this is 249.6 grams. So if you do 90 divided by 249.6 times 100, you get 36.1%. So this is going to be 36.1% water. Now you want to name this hydrate. So on the homework tonight when you name it, you're going to call this, you might not know how to do this um, yet officially, but I'm going to tell you the name is cupric sulfate pentahydrate. Cupric sulfate pentahydrate. So if you have trouble with the naming, don't worry about that. We'll talk about that um, probably the next day. Okay, in addition to finding out the percent of water, let's say that you had 8.88 .88 grams of this hydrate. So I give you a bunch of this hydrate, and the hydrate weighs 8.88 .88 grams. And I ask you, how much water is in that? Well, you already know that 36.1% is water, so all you need to do is take 0.361, which is... 36.1% of the 8.88 grams of hydrate, and you're going to find out how much water is in it. 0.361 times 8.88 gives you 3.21. So there are 3.21 grams of water in 8.88 grams of hydrate. Okay, and another day we will talk about how to get an empirical formula of a hydrate from sample data.